you tonight. I am so happy to be able to pop up and pray with you all over the world, live on the World Wide Web. So thank you for joining me tonight. I promise you, once a week, I'm going to pop up and pray with you, and it is my pleasure to do so. Okay, so you know how we do it. I need you to tag some people and share the video. Um, if you are... Um, if you look at your screen, just tap that share option, that share feature that's on your screen. If you're on Periscope or if you're on Facebook, just tap that so you can share that with all of your friends and followers. And also, if someone has been calling you this week, possibly for prayer, or you know someone that is uh, really dealing with a lot of issues, they've been on your heart, why don't you at them specifically, tag them specifically, even um in, in addition to you sharing the video, tag certain people that you know could benefit from this prayer meeting tonight. I know God is going to take us somewhere in prayer, yeah, that we've never been before, and it's going to be a blessing. So make sure that you at some people, share the video to your page as well. I'm excited about it tonight. Are you? I hope you're excited. I'm excited. God is good. I know a lot is going on, but in the midst of it all, God is good. So we're going to enter prayer with thanksgiving and praise. Uh, in the book of Psalms, the 100th Psalm, the fourth verse, it tells us how to greet God. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. So that is how we greet God. We are polite when we greet God in prayer. We don't go into prayer just asking and begging and woe is me and Lord, you know. Yes, he does. He knows everything. He knows everything that's going on. He's, he knows what is before you. He knows what is behind you. So we don't even have to uh, uh, enter into the gate talking about any of that. We just want to turn our focus and we want to turn our minds on him and how wonderful and how amazing he is because no matter what's going on, he is still worthy. He is worthy to be praised. And he told us in everything to give thanks. It is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. So it is God's will that we thank him tonight. And we're going to thank him, thank him, thank him. So we'll enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Now, I'm going to pray verbally with you, of course, via, via your screen. And I want you to pray even where you are. But also, I need you to type in the comments. That's how you pray back to me. And that's how you agree with me. I'm going to be praying and declaring to you in the way you come into agreement, the way I feel your power, the way I feel your energy, the way I feel your agreement and your anointing, because you are anointed, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. Do you know that power is in you? You are anointed. So I need to feel your anointing and your power as well. And how do I feel that? I feel that when you type. So you're going to type and pray and I'm going to speak and pray and then you can speak and pray as well. But make sure you put those hearts in the comments. Why don't we just start? Just just uh, give me some hearts in the comments just so we can tell the Lord how much we love him. Just go ahead and tap those hearts. This is uh, the way that we are coming into agreement and just letting the Lord know we love you. We love you. We love you. Come on, tap it. Come on. Tap those hearts. I need that screen filled with hearts. Come on, everybody. If you're watching me, don't just watch tonight. We are going to come into agreement and we're all going to participate in participate rather in prayer. So make sure you tap those hearts. Tap, 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 tap. And we're going to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And then the Holy Spirit is going to take over. We don't, I don't have a specific agenda tonight for prayer. For pop-up prayer, I never do. We just pray by faith. We just start praying. And the Holy Spirit will take us into areas where he wants us to go. And he will pray through us for us. And at the end of this, I have a very special word. So make sure you stay until the end. I have a very special word that I want to share with you. So are you ready to pray? I want you to type that in the comments. I'm ready to pray, Angela. Just type that right quick. Say, Angela, I am ready to pray. Come on. Let me see it. Angela, there you go. I am ready to pray. Come on. Angela, I am ready to pray. There you go. All right, let's pray. Father, we give you glory tonight. We magnify you, Lord. We praise your name. You are worthy to be praised, God. And we just want to come together tonight to give you thanksgiving and to give you praise, God, because you are so worthy. You are so good to us, God. You are such a good God. You are such a good father. 
And it is a privilege for us to be able to come to you in prayer tonight. God, we thank you so much that you are a God who is alive. You are a God who is ever present. We are not praying to an idol. We are not praying to any statues tonight, but we are praying to the true and living God. We are praying to the God who created the heavens and the earth. We are praying to the God who is life. You are life. You are life, you are love, you are light, you are joy, you are everything that is good in the earth. And that is who we are talking to tonight. And we just thank you, oh God, for giving us the privilege, the opportunity to speak to you. God, we are so grateful for that. We are so grateful that we can have an audience with the God who created the heavens and the earth, with the God who scooped dust out of the earth and made man with the God who who created everything in the earth the stars the mountains the seas everything in it belongs to you and you created we are talking to the God tonight who said let there be and it was and we are so grateful tonight that we can talk to a God who has authority in the earth a God who can do something about our situation we're not talking about just anybody we're not talking about a, a, a statue we're not talking about a pagan God, but we're talking about a God who can do something about our situation. We are talking to a God who is all powerful. You are omniscient, you are omnipresent, and you are omnipotent. You are omniscient, you know everything. You are omnipresent, you are everywhere at the same time. God, you are right here in Chicago with us right now. You are in Louisiana, you are in Texas, you are in Australia, you are in Africa, you are in Mexico. You are very present everywhere because you are a great, big, wonderful, huge, magnanimous God. Oh, yes, you are. And we give you glory tonight. We give you glory, the God who is present everywhere. You are with us. You're with our loved ones. You're with every person that's on our hearts right now. You're in the hospitals. You're in convalescent homes. You are everywhere. You are everywhere at the same time. And God, we honor you tonight for being omnipresent. God, we thank Thank you right now that you are omnipotent. All power is in your hands. All power. You have the power to save, the power to heal, the power to deliver, the power to set us free, the power to close doors, the power to open doors, the power to make a way out of no way. You have the power, oh God, because you are an omnipotent God. All power is in your hands. All power is is in your hands and we give you glory tonight oh powerful God we give you glory we are talking to the powerful God who parted the Red Sea and they went across on dry land we are talking to that God we're talking to the God who raised Jesus from the dead hallelujah that power that raised Jesus from the dead. That's who we're talking to tonight. We're talking to the light of the world. We're talking to the light of our lives. We are talking to the light of the world. You are so bright. You are so bright. There have, no light has to be in heaven because you light up the whole city of God because you are the light of of the world and that's who we're talking to tonight we're talking to the God who can do anything but fail we are talking to the God who there is nothing impossible with there is nothing impossible with you there is nothing impossible with you you can do anything and you can do everything but fail oh yes and that's who we're talking to tonight hallelujah it gives us so much joy to know that we're talking to someone who can do something Something about our situation we're talking to someone who can heal who can raise the dead we are talking to someone who can make a way out of no way we are talking to Jehovah Jireh we are talking to God our provider we are talking to him tonight oh and what a privilege it is what a privilege it is that we can have an audience with you and we are so grateful tonight that we can talk to you a lot of people want to talk to a lot of different people people that they feel like 
that are in power, people that can make situations change on their behalf. But look at us, what we can do, oh God. We can bypass everybody. Higher glory to God. We can bypass everybody. And we can talk to the boss of bosses. We can talk to the king of kings. We can talk to the Lord of lords. We can talk to the great I am. We can talk to him. We can talk to the God who is above the president, who is above the senate, who is above Congress, who is above the House of Representatives, who is above our governors, our mayors, our political figures. We can talk to the God who is above our bosses. We can talk to the God who is above anybody who has any authority in our lives. You are our final authority and you are our final say. And God, we give you glory tonight for your place and your position on your throne. Oh yes, you are the king of kings. Everything else has to become subject under you. Everything has to get under you because you are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes, you are. You are the great, great, great I am. You are the great I am. Everything that we could ever need, that's what you are. Everything that we could ever want, that's what you are. You are our joy and sorrow. You are our hope for tomorrow. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are our comfort. You are our best friend. We never have to be lonely because we have a best friend in Jesus. You are the friend that sticks closer than a brother. You are a mother for the motherless. You are a father for the fatherless. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are a great God and we glorify you tonight because you are the great I am. You are the great I am. And tonight we worship and we glorify the great I am. Nobody is above you. Nobody. Nobody even is beside you. The only one besides God is Jesus who is at the right hand of the Father. Everybody else is under his feet. Every other thing is under his feet. Every principality, every power, every ruler, every spiritual darkness, everything is under your feet. All sickness is under your feet. Depression, bipolarism, anxiety is under your feet. Hallelujah. Heaven is your throne. The earth is your footstool. Even the earth is under your feet because you are a great, big, awesome, wonderful God. And we give you glory tonight. Oh, how we love you, Lord. Oh, how we magnify you. Oh, how we praise you. We thank you, oh God, for the vehicle of worship that can allow us to escape. We can escape the darkness. We can escape fear. We can escape doubt. We can escape unbelief. We can escape bad news. We can escape evil tidings. We can escape it. We can escape escape it through worship we can leave it through worship we can leave it through prayer all we have to do is start telling you how much we love you and God you'll lift us hallelujah glory to God you'll lift us God you'll lift up every bow down head you'll lift us God you'll lift us from the situation you can lift us right now oh God you are not only the lifter but you're the lifter of our head hallelujah you're the lifter of the bow down head if we are bowed down if, if we are downtrodden right now you are the lifter of our heads glory to the son of God who is the you are the lifter of our heads type that in the comments say the lifter is here I don't care how low you've been this week I don't care how you feel like you have been down in the dumps this week I don't care how you feel like you've been in a depressed state this week the lifter is here Hayama you are the lifter hallelujah hallelujah you're the lifter of the bow down head you are the lifter hallelujah glory to God glory to God who is the lifter you are the lifter type that in the comments say the lifter is here he is among us say the lifter is among us come on type that the lifter is here you see how quickly we can get into his presence all we have to do is let them know how much we love them. The lifter is already here, my friends. Glory, 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 glory to God. Glory to the lifter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou, O Lord, our our shield about me. You are shield around me. You are a shield about me. You are a shield around me. You comfort me and you cover me thou O Lord are a shield around me you are a shield you shield 
us from every fiery dart of the enemy. You shield us from the adversary. You shield us from sickness. You shield us from disease. You shield us from worry. You are a shield around us. You are a shield around us. Your word tells us that you are our shield. When we leave our house, we mama, we leave with a shield. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say you are a shield around me. <clears throat> You are a shield around me. You are a shield around me. <clears throat> when we leave our homes, we leave with a shield. When we walk down the street, we walk with a shield. When we drive in our cars, we drive with a shield. When we go grocery shopping, you are walking around with a shield because thou, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You got our front, you got our back. You got our side. You at the top of our head. You all around us, oh God. We are walking with a shield because you are a shield around us. You are a shield around us. You shield us from every fiery dart. We cannot protect ourselves, Lord. We can't do it. We're going to take every precaution we can. We're going to obey all that we can, God. But at the end of the day, we can't protect ourselves. Oh, yes, but we can be protected by the shield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can be protected by the shield. Glory to God. Type that in the comments. Say, I am protected by the shield. When you go grocery shopping, you walk in that door with a shield. When you have to go out, you walk out with a shield. You don't just have a mask on. You're not just wearing your gloves, my friends, but you have a spiritual shield. You got a shield all around you. The book of Psalms tells us, thou, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are a shield around me. You are a shield around me. You are my glory. We walk in the glory of God. The glory of God. You are my glory. Yes, you are. You are the glory all around us. We are living in your glory. We are standing in your glory. When we're in our house, we sit in your glory. You are our glory, oh God. The glory of God. Hayamasa. You are our glory. Yes, you are. You are our glory. Hallelujah. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Hallelujah. You are our glory. You are our shield and you are our glory. Type that say, God is my glory. Hallelujah. You are our glory. Hallelujah. 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 You are our glory. You are our glory. Hallelujah. The glory of God is around me. The glory of God sustains us. The glory of God protects us. The glory of God on our houses. The glory of God on our cars. The glory of God on our bodies. The glory of God on our families. The glory of God. Let the glory of God, hallelujah, rest upon us. Let the glory of God, hallelujah, 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 let the glory of God rest upon upon us hallelujah hallelujah you even supply our need according to your riches that are in glory glory to god hallelujah where are your riches they're in glory hallelujah my god shall supply all of your need according to his riches that are in glory where are the riches my friends they're in glory hallelujah <clears throat> they're in the glory of god they're in the glory of God. They're in the glory of God. All we have to do is make sure that we remain in the glory of God. In the glory of God is where his riches are. In the glory of God are where our needs are met. Philippians 4.19. For my God shall supply all of our need according to his riches. Where are the riches, Angela? Hallelujah. I'm so glad you asked me that. According to... Philippians 419, they're in the glory. Hallelujah. It's in the glory. It's in the glory. You are our glory, oh God. You are our glory, oh God. Let us be found in the glory of God. Hide us in the glory. Protect us in the glory. Provide for us in the glory. Keep us in the glory. Hallelujah. You are a shield around me. You are our glory and you are the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is the lifter of our heads tonight. Hallelujah. There is so much for us to have our heads 
bowed down about right now. There's so much going on. There's so much devastation. There's so much happening. But Jesus is telling us that you are we, that he is our glory and he is the lifter of our heads. So Father, tonight I pray right now that you will lift up every head. You will lift up every bowed down head. You will lift up every head that is bowed down in sorrow. You will lift up every head that is bowed down in grief, oh God. I pray that you will lift the heads of your people tonight. Help us to look up again. Help us to look up again. Help us to look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help is coming from the Lord. Our help is not coming from beneath us. It's coming from above us. So we will lift up our eyes unto the hills. We will lift up our heads unto you, oh God. Hallelujah. Lift the heads of your people tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, keep praying in the comments. Say, you are my glory. Type that in the comments. You are the lifter. Hallelujah. Of my head. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Paul said in the comments, say, you are the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. You are the lifter of my head. And we give you glory tonight. We give you glory. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. Yes, we do. We bless your name and we thank you. God, we thank you for all things things. We thank you tonight. We are coming to you tonight to let you know that we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and sing praises unto his name. We thank you on tonight, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, because you are good to us. You are good to us. You are still good to us. And we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you for life and health and strength. Oh, yes, we do, God. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for everything that you're going to do for us. Oh, our future is bright. And we thank you for it. We thank you, oh, God. We thank you for keeping our families. We thank you for keeping our children. We thank you for keeping every marriage, every spouse. We thank you for keeping every mother, every father. We thank you, oh, God. We thank you for keeping us tonight. We thank you, oh, God, that you you, you, you have charged your angels all around us and we give you glory tonight. We thank you that we are your chosen ones. We thank you that you saved us. We thank you that you called us out of darkness. We thank you that we're saved tonight. We thank you that at the end of the day, when all of this is over, that we're going to make heaven our home. God, nothing else is worth more praise than knowing that we're saved. Nothing else is worth more praise than knowing that we will spend eternity with you and that we will not spend one day in hell. Hallelujah. So can we pause just for a moment? We know a lot of a lot of things are going on, but God, we just want to pause just for a moment. My dear friends and my dear followers, can we just pause just for a moment to thank God that we're saved tonight, that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. We give you glory tonight that we're saved. We give you glory tonight, oh God, that we are called by your name. Hallelujah. We give you glory tonight that you saved us. Thank you for going to the cross. Thank you for dying for our sins. Thank you for rising up in victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for going to hell and getting the keys of hell, death, and the grave. Hallelujah. It's all in your hands. You got the keys. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus for giving us, hallelujah, power. You have given us those keys to use in the kingdom, and we give you glory tonight. We give you praise. 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 Almighty God, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Come on, speak words of worship and praise in the comments. Just thank God tonight. Thank him for anything that he brings to your mind. Thank him for your job. Thank you that you haven't missed a beat. Thank you that you haven't missed a step. Thank God tonight. Thank him that all your bills are paid in the pandemic. Oh! Thank him that all your bills are paid in the pandemic. Thank him. Come on, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Say, put it in the comments. I have, I have no lack in the pandemic. Come on, put it in the comments. Thank him that you haven't missed a beat. Thank him that all your utilities are still on. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him that you have more. Thank you that thank him that you have more. Thank you that you not have you have not experienced any lack in your life. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Come on, thank him in the comments. Thank him in the comments. Thank him in the comments. Thank him that this is not a... Fa oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. This is the declaration that we're going to make tonight. Even if you feel like you have been affected, if you make this declaration, that thing will turn around. And for some of you, this stands true and it remains true right now. This is what... This is the word of the Lord. Let's declare it. Let's declare this in the comments. As I said, listen carefully. If you feel like you have been affected, make sure you type it and it'll turn it around. And if you haven't, make sure you type it more. And it'll cause it, it is your truth. You're standing in it. You oh my ma ha na na ma ma. I hear the Holy Ghost say that some of you are not even typing this by faith. Some of you are typing it by faith, but some of you are not even typing it by faith. It is your reality, and this is what I want you to type in the comments. This pandemic has not affected me at all. Type it. Say this pandemic. Has not affected me at all. Type the, hit the hearts. Come on. I need to feel you giving God glory. Do you know how blessed you are? Do you know how blessed you are? Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about what's going on around you. Think about you. I want you to type this in the comments. Please type what I say. This pandemic has not affected me at all. Some of you will type it by faith, but for some of you, it is your reality. You need to stop right now and give God glory. You need to stop right now and give him praise. You need to stop right now and say hallelujah. Say this pandemic is not affecting me at all. Hit the hearts. Say it in the comments. Hit the hearts. Hallelujah. Give them glory tonight. Give them glory tonight. Give them glory tonight. Give them glory tonight. Give them glory. Say this pandemic is not a... Oh, I cannot even emphatically tell you enough how much power I feel in this declaration. If you have never typed on anybody's prayer video before, if you are one of those who just watch, let me tell you something. Type this. Type this right now. Say this pandemic is not affecting me at all. Thank you, God. It's not affecting me at all. Hey, declare it. This pandemic is not affecting me at all. My dear friends, I'm so glad you tuned in tonight. How blessed are we? That the Lord will allow us to enter into his presence and into his glory where nothing can penetrate and affect us at all. There is a hiding place in him where you can be unbothered. 
And he allowed us tonight to ascend in that place. It's not affecting me at all. Because we prayed our way right into the glory of God. But there are no effects. In the glory of God, there is no adversary. None. There is no adversary in the glory of God. Thank you for your glory tonight, Lord. Thank you for welcoming us there. Type that in the comments. Just type glory, 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 glory. Hit the hearts and just type glory, please. Just type glory. Just type glory, 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 glory. Glory. There's no pressure in the glory of God. There's no worry. There's no fear. There's nothing to fear. Do you know that when you're in the glory of God, you don't have a need? All needs are met in the glory. All of them. Philippians 4.19 This is why we need to rest there. There's such a strong presence here tonight. I pray that wherever you are that you are experiencing the glory of God. Father there is no distance in you. Everybody watching God, touch your people tonight. Touch your people. Let them feel your glory, God. Wherever they are in the world, God. Whoever is watching this, let them experience your touch, Father. Let the tears flow. Let them feel your anointing and your presence. Let your glory be present with them, Lord. God, touch your people for me. You promised me, God. that I can ask you. And I'm asking you, God, everybody watching this, God, please touch them. Please, Lord, let them feel your presence. Even if they've never felt it before, even if they've never felt it in a church experience or at a, at a gospel concert, if they've never felt it before, Lord, if it's their first time tonight, let it be with me, God. Let them feel your presence tonight. Let it be with me, God. Let it be with me tonight. If it's children watching God, let them feel your presence. Give them an experience. Your people need to feel you tonight. They need to feel your touch. They need to feel your presence. Wherever you are, Wherever you are right now, wherever you are all over the world, may the glory of God be present with you. It's such a precious experience, like no other that you will ever experience. The touch of Almighty God, touch your people tonight, God. Touch your people tonight. All we need is a touch from you. People have been going through so much, God. But if you could just touch us tonight. 
hands. It'll make everything all right. They need strength to go on. Touch your people. They need to feel your presence tonight. I want you to type that in the comments. Just say, I feel the presence of the Lord. Come on. Type that. Say, I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. There's nothing like your presence, Jesus. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. Nothing. Nothing compares to you, Jesus. There's nothing like your touch, Lord. There's nothing like it. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that makes us worthy to feel your presence. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank God for his presence tonight. There's a sweet spirit in this place, and I pray that there's a sweet spirit in your place, wherever you are. It is the spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to tag and share right now if you just came in a little later. I, want, I have a special word that I want to share with you on tonight. So if you could share the video, just tap that uh, share feature, that share icon there. Tap that on your screen. If you know some people that have been on your heart this week, if you've been sharing uh, maybe the word with or praying for at them in the comments. There are specific people that you know specifically that could use a word tonight, and I have one for you. So uh, make sure that you tag some people and also share the video. Uh, I want to share this word with you. We're going to talk about tonight um, an invalid man that was at the uh, at the pool of Bethsaida for 38 years. It's in John chapter 5. I want you to read that entire chapter, okay? Type that for me. John chapter 5. I'm in John chapter 5 tonight. I encourage you, doing your Bible study, just read the whole chapter. It's so good. So John chapter 5 is where our lesson is coming from tonight. We find the story of Jesus traveling through Jerusalem, and he walked past the pool named Bethsaida. And there were many people there at the pool. At this pool, people would lay there who were sick and lame. Uh, people were there who were disabled and who were paralyzed. And they would just come and sit at this pool. And you may think to yourself, why would all of the paralyzed people, the sick people, the lame people, the disabled people be at this pool? The reason they were sitting at the pool of Bethsaida is because God would send an angel. Every time I think about that, that blesses me. God would send an angel from heaven. No announcement. Oh, you know what I just thought about? It's sort of like pop-up prayer. We don't announce it. I don't really push it out. That day, I'll just let you know I'm coming up in a few hours. So it's sort of like how we pop up with prayer. But God would send an angel to the pool. No announcement. He would just send the angel. So the people would have to always be there because they wouldn't know when the angel would come down and God would send this angel and what the angel would do, he would trouble the water. And when the angel would come, I wonder what that looked like. That's the kind of mind I have when I study. I, I envision how it looked. I wonder, was it like some kind of light, like a, like a lightning bolt or something, but he would send a light. He would send an angel down to this pool and the pool would be troubled. The waters in there would be troubled. And all that really means is that the angel would come to this pool and stir the water like this. He would stir it. So when the people who were sitting around the pool saw that the waters were troubled, they would all try to get in the pool. And if they did, while the angel was troubling the water, they would be healed because there was a miracle in the troubled waters. And we're in some troubled waters now. We are in some situations where the whole earth is being stirred. It's not even just in America. It's, it's all the whole earth is being stirred right now. There are troubled waters. But there was a miracle 
in the troubled waters. Please don't miss that. Our entire world is in trouble. The, it's a stirring in the entire world. Type that. Say, there is a miracle in this trouble for me. Type that. Say, there is a miracle in this trouble. This trouble that we're going through. If we can only believe, if we can only press forward, there's a miracle in this trouble for me. Type that. Type, there is a miracle in this trouble for me. The main character in this story tonight is the invalid man that Jesus struck up a conversation with. He had been laying at this pool for 38 years. He was paralyzed for 38 years. And the title of our lesson tonight is The Paralysis in the Pandemic. That's the title. The Paralysis in the pandemic, the paralysis in the pandemic. Do you feel stuck tonight? I'm not just talking about stuck in the house. I know we're under quarantine, but do you feel stuck? I'm talking about being stuck in your mind, being stuck in your soul, feeling like you can't move forward. You you don't even really want to plan things. It's like you, you're not motivated to even plan or move forward because it's like you feel in your heart. We can't we don't even know when we can go outside. We don't even know when we can gather again. So sometimes you'll feel stuck in even trying to plan for your future. But I just I just feel by the spirit of God to tell you, just go ahead and plan. Just 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 go ahead with your plans. Don't don't take into regard or account what's going on. If 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 by the time uh, you have decided that date, if nothing has changed, God will give you another plan. But just keep the waters turning. Keep keep your wheels turning for what you're believing for. OK, just keep those wheels turning. Just keep going with that. Keep going with your plan. But sometimes you can feel stuck like this man did. And Jesus asked this paralyzed man who was also stuck. He was immobile. He was unmotivated. His pandemic was 38 years. He had 30, a 38 year pandemic. And he was stuck. And Jesus asked him this one question. He simply asked him this. He said, do you want to get well? That's all he asked him. He said, do you want to get well? And this is what the paralyzed man, the man who was in this paralyzed pandemic for 38 years. He told Jesus, here comes the excuse. I don't have anybody to help me. I don't have anybody to push me in this pool. I don't have anybody, which brings us to a very important point in this lesson tonight of ridding ourselves of this paralysis in this pandemic. And that is self-motivation. You have to motivate yourself. You have to. We can't rely on people to push us anymore because they can't even get close to us. People, people can't even get close enough to you to push you. For those of you who are even working at home now, at the beginning of the pandemic, you probably felt like, oh, this is great. This is great. But now you're feeling like to work from home, you have to be self-motivated. Because your boss isn't there. You don't have the energy of your co-workers and the other parts of the corporation in there with you. So you have to be self-motivated. You have to be. Type this in the comments. Say, I will motivate myself. Everybody, please. Please, if you're watching, make this declaration. Remember, we have what we say. This is why I tell you to say things. I tell you to type things. This is a full experience. Pop up prayer whenever I'm online. It's a full experience. I want you to be a part of it. So you need to say this. Say, I will motivate myself. You have to say that. I cannot say that for you. Say, I will motivate myself. You have to motivate yourself. To pray and fast and worship and study the Bible. Have you been having an issue with that? OK, that's because you have to motivate yourself for the last nine years. I have been motivating women to have a, a uh, to I have been encouraging women to be spiritually motivated by themselves. Wonderful prayer is not about me. It's about me pushing women how to do this by themselves. I've been doing it for nine years. A year ago, I wrote a book to help you motivate yourself spiritually. I didn't know this. We would be here. I didn't know this would happen. But all of that life's work, that nine years of work was for right now. Because you have to be able to motivate yourself. You have to motivate yourself to work out. You have to motivate yourself. You, you can't go to the gym anymore. I was thinking about my gym friends the other day. I love my gym friends. That, be, that becomes a, a, a community of people. We don't know when we'll see them again. 
You have to motivate yourself to work out. You have to motivate yourself to uh, continue with your own business and your entrepreneurial endeavors and your aspirations and your dreams. That thing is going to have to come from you. Say it again. Say, I will motivate myself. I will motivate myself. And lastly, Jesus says to this paralyzed man, he says, rise up, take up your bed and walk. He said, you want to get well? The man said, I don't have nobody to push me. He said, rise up, take up your own bed and walk. So how did this man come out of this state of paralysis? How did he do it? He didn't go to a revival. He didn't go to a conference. He, he wasn't in a prayer line. He, he wasn't slain in the spirit. Jesus didn't even touch him. You know how he came out of this paralysis? It's very simple. He followed the instruction. That's all he did. Jesus said, take up your bed and walk. He got up. He took up his bed and he walked. My dear friends, this next level of your life where God is taking you to, it's not going to be some kind of spiritual epiphany. It's going to be simply that you are following his instructions. 38 years laying at the pool and all he did was follow the instructions. We take away three things from this lesson tonight. Number one, there's a miracle in this trouble. You better grab your miracle. Stop looking at everything going around on around you. Grab your miracle, yours. There's a miracle in this trouble. Number two, self-motivation. And number three, follow the instructions of Jesus. If you obey Jesus, you can literally obey your way into healing. You can obey your way into favor. You can obey your way into breakthrough, into wealth, into health, into prosperity. You can obey your way into it. You make a decision to motivate yourself and follow the instructions. And if I can uh, be so bold as to borrow Nike slogan tonight, whatever God tells you to do, my friends, in this season, just do it. Just do it. Are you safe tonight? Are you sure that if you die tonight or if Jesus cracked the sky and he came and got us out of this horrible, wicked world, would you be ready to meet him? If you're not positive, if your answer wasn't yes, just like that, if you had to think about it for even a second, I want you to repeat after me tonight so you can make sure that heaven will be your eternal resting place. Simply repeat after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I repent of my sins. I want to turn away from this life that I'm living and I want to go back to the top. I want to repent and go back where you always intended for me to be. I believe that you died, repeat after me, that you were buried, repeat after me, and that you rose again on the third day for my salvation. I accept you as my Savior and my Lord. Say this, I am saved. Big hug! Welcome into the family of God. I have some things that can uh, assist you also. I have a few products that can assist you in getting out of that paralysis in this pandemic. You cannot be stuck, my friends. You got to make sure that you move forward. I have David's lyric. This is a soul meditation. This is beautiful. It is classical music, and I am reading the book of Psalms over it, a few of the Psalms over it. My dear friend Rodney East, he's so very anointed. He is the music bed on this. It's beautiful music. This is also streaming live everywhere. So if you want to just stream it live, you can. But I know that some of you still like CDs. So if you want one, email me at popupprayer at gmail.com. And then I also have, this is called Enter Into the Wonderful House of Prayer. Now this will slow you down, okay? Like when you're going to bed, this will get you going. This is house music, and I'm praying over house music. I've also added two bonus tracks, the song Yahweh. Uh, which is streaming live, and also You Are My God. I wrote these two songs, so I added that to this as well. So you can get this. You can only get this. This does not stream live. So you can get this by emailing me at popupprayer at gmail.com. 
This definitely can help motivate you for your spiritual journey during this pandemic. You got to pull yourself out of that paralysis. You got to move forth forward spiritually. And this book right here, let me teach you how to pray every day. This will help you and give you a dis- tools of discipline that can help motivate you to make sure that you are growing spiritually, even though you may be disconnected from some of your other spiritual avenues. You can always have this because the most important thing is that you are connected to God. You can get this on Amazon.com and many other online bookstores. You can order it. Uh, You can Google it. Just Google Let Me Teach You How to Pray Every Day by Angela Martin. It's on 67 online stores. Order this book. You need this. Order this book so it'll be in your mailbox, okay? Make sure you order this. And I want to bless someone with one tonight. I'm just going to give it to you. If you're watching me from Texas tonight, I want to sow a seed in the state of... Okay, I heard you, Holy Spirit. He said two. All right, so in Texas, I'm going to give you one. And for some reason, I'm just hearing my uh, Louisiana. If you are in Louisiana, in Louisiana, if you're there, so I'm going to give away two tonight. If you're watching me from Louisiana, just email me up at popupprayer at gmail.com. Or if you're watching me from Texas, just email me at popupprayer at gmail.com. Listen very carefully to the spelling. It's P O P U P. R-A-Y-E-R at gmail.com. If you have any questions about that, just look at the title of the video, you guys. At the title of the video, and the email is there, all right? So I want to sow a seed in Texas, and I'm going to sow a seed tonight in Louisiana. All right, prayer at gmail.com. Ladies, I'll meet you here for Wonderful Prayer online all over the world on June 6th. Papa Prayer is for everyone. All, all are welcome. But for Wonderful Prayer, it's geared towards women. Uh, my brothers out there, of course, of course you can tune in. Yeah, you can tune in. But it's really geared towards women. Ladies, June 6th, Wonderful Prayer will be online right here on all of my social media outlets. For all of your sisters that you've been inviting for the last nine years who never came, you can tell them they can have a front row seat to Wonderful Prayer on June 6th. I'll be right here for Wonderful Prayer. Okay? So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate you guys. Pop up prayer. I promise you, one time every week, I'm going to come on and pray with you. It is my pleasure to do it. Thank you for joining me. People online praying up. You have to be prayed up to be a spouse, a parent, an entrepreneur, a part of the five-fold ministry. You have to be prayed up just to be you. God has a calling on your life. And I promise you, you won't get there unless you're prayed up. So make sure that you're prayed up. Remember the lesson tonight. Coming out of this uh, pandemic, you got to come out of it. You got to get the paralysis out of you. You got to move forward. We talked about the paralysis of this pandemic. And you do not have to be a victim. But you can pull out of it. Come out of it with motivation. With instruction from the Lord. And also remember, there is a miracle for you in this trouble. The best way to do it, you got to get it in prayer. Just do what he tells you to do, my friends. The instruction is going to get you out. And get you to your next level. And make sure you stay prayed up. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Makes his face to shine on you and give you his peace. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you so much. Until next time, stay prayed up. God bless you. Kisses. Thanks for joining me. Stay in the glory. Hallelujah.